Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I've got a bunch of stuff pulled out on my desk. Some of this is junk mail, some of it is just pieces and parts of things, uh, scraps, just all kinds of things out of my scrap pile. Uh, you can see it's just, this is packing paper and some fabric, pieces of fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a junk journal. I don't make junk journals very often, but I love them. I, I absolutely love them. So this is going to be a true junk journal because I'm using all the junk. Most people would probably throw a lot of this away. I'm going to be using junk to create it. And I think I haven't made up my mind yet because I, I have a lot going on in January. But I'm going to try to do Meg's... Um, junk journal january challenge that she has going on like i said i don't know if i'll be able to participate or not but i'm going to try to do parts of it if i can and i thought this would be a good place to start is just making my journal and then if, on days if i can get to it i'll do one and if i can't then okay she had and i will link her channel below it's i think it's meg's journals i believe on youtube but uh, she has about 30 different uh, creators that are participating in her junk journal January. And I thought that might be something else fun that we could do. We're going to be doing our just journal January and just showing you the basics of how to start your journals, how to get everything going. We're going to go from step one all the way through to journaling in them and everything. And you've got a lot of freebies that are coming your way. And speaking of freebies, this is the freebie for the first week. You can go ahead and print this out now. This was created by Betty. Now, we, we're going with a neutral theme background. That way, no matter what type of material or fabric or paper or what that you decide to do your cover with, these are going to match up. And then all you have to do is just embellish them in the colors that you want. So she did us a page of tags and then a page of journaling cards. So you can go over and download these now. I'll put that link below if you didn't already get it in your um, newsletter. Those newsletters went out, I think, day before yesterday. So if you didn't get a newsletter and you would like to receive our monthly newsletters, you can go to our um, website, www.scrapbookingwithme.com. And when that pop-up pops up there that asks for your email, put your email in there and you'll be signed up for our newsletters. Okay, uh, also we have that sale still going on. We have the end of the year clearance sale. We're trying to get rid of as much as possible because this girl doesn't like to pay IRS taxes on any more than I have to. So everything that's left in my stock, I have to pay taxes on. Big taxes. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, let's see, and it's a 35% off. And I'll put the link, I mean the uh, code right here that you can use to get your 35% off. It's Bye Bye 22. I am going to use an old file folder. This is one that uh, kind of got some, I don't know what, ink or whatever on it. And I'm going to use this for my cover. Just going to decide how wide I want it. Um, I'm thinking six will be a good width. Let's see. Let me think about this one minute. You know what I might do? Let's do this. Let's cut off where the file folder kind of starts going to an angle there. Let's cut that off first. Try to keep it as straight as we can. And I know I've got it piled on top of this stuff and I should have moved that, but you know what? We'll do the best we can. And it didn't cut all the way through everywhere, but that's what scissors are for. Remember, this does not have to be perfect. This is a junk journal. Okay, there we go. Got that cut off. Now, let's see. I'm going to go with the height next. And I think I'll turn it this way. And I think I'm only going to go 
um, I'm going to go eight and a half tall. That'll give us room to put whatever we want in there. So I'm going to trim that off. We'll save that for tags. I'll make some good tags. Now, I don't want it this wide, but what I was thinking is we can... Ooh, sorry about that. We could fold these back and have tucks on the inside. So I'm not going to cut that off. So I left it. Let's see how wide this is. This is... It's about... It's almost eight and a half. And then it is eight and a half that way. And then I'm going to fold back... I'm thinking I'll fold back to, find my pencil here, I'm going to fold it back to six and a quarter. So I'm just going to make a little mark, six and a quarter. And you, you don't have to do this if you don't want to fold yours back. Don't be worried about it. Just cut it the size that you want or don't even cut it if you don't want to. I usually start off with my cover. No particular reason other than that's just my thing. So, a lot of people don't. They start off with their pages. but that And that's fine if that's what you want to do. I like to start with my cover and then I can start adding things in there. I'm just going to use this to just kind of get a little bit of a score in here. So I can fold somewhat near straight because if I don't... I won't fold anywhere near straight. Alright, there's that. And then we'll just do the other side. See if I can get that up there. Maybe, just maybe, we can do this side. Just by laying it up beside that one. Again, I'm not looking for perfection. Just... Doing it the best I can, and that looks pretty good to me right there. All right, let's slide all of this over to the side. <laughs> it's a pile of stuff, isn't it? I just started pulling out from different piles and drawers and ended up with more junk than I thought I had. Okay. All right, so that's going to be our cover. I like that so far. Now, I will probably put some fabric or who knows what on here, lace, whatever. But that's that gives us an idea of our cover right there. And these, I'm going to go ahead and glue down on the inside just so they won't be popping up and getting in my way all the time. So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We had a good one. It was, you know, we had tears, we had laughter, we had a little bit of all of it. But all in all, it was good. Uh, there was some gifts that we got from different people that, you know, reminded us of quit. And it reminded the girls of their dad. So that, you know, that brought tears. But, you know, we knew that he was celebrating in the best place that he could be celebrating Christmas. So we just have to kind of live with that. All right. So there we go. We've got those glued down. And that should hold us for a while on that. Now let's start getting some pages together. Now, I want to put this in there, but I'm going to wait a little bit, and I'm just going to start pulling some pages in. I have some of these old ancestry books, and I thought I'd go through here and just pull some pages that might have some pretty pictures on it, like that one. I love that. And as I use them, I'll lay it over there. Now, I really want this to go like this so that she won't be on her side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up like this and I'm going to fold this over. And 
Now that will be, this will be our seam, or this will be the binding part here. And then this will be a page. So let's go ahead and, and I think I'm gonna use my tear ruler and just tear these and not have to worry about getting my trimmer out each time. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll put this in and then this will have something else attached to it. So, and I think I'm gonna trim off some of this white right here. I don't like all of that on there. There we go. So we can find something else to attach to that now or we can just go on and attach something there later. I'm gonna flip through real quick, see if there's anything that just pops out to me. I'll tell you what, let's attach this. This is an uh, old piece of book page, like the very front part of the book. Very, very old. And that's almost the right size. Ooh, see it's hard for me. I don't want to tear any of this off or that, but some of it's got to be torn because it's going to be too big. So I'll tear this part off and then I'll use it for stamping. I'll stamp on that and that'll make some pretty labels on it. So I'm going to go through this from start to finish. I know a lot of people have asked for me to do junk journals and show how you get started on them. So I thought, why not? Um, this is the way I do it anyway. It's not the way everybody does it. And, you know, it might not be your thing once you get started, but I just kind of pull out all of my junk and just start from there. And I'm gonna make this little piece right here into a pocket. So I'm only gonna glue right at the back and down the side a little bit. And then that's still going to be a little pocket right there. All right, so there's our first page right there. Now what I will do is I'll use this as a template for my pages. And all of my pages that I'm going to put in here, I don't want to be any bigger than this. All right, we have some packing paper. You know, I got this the other day and I told you guys I would definitely be using this in my junk journal that I was making. I love to include packing paper in it. So I'm just going to tear off a piece. Whoops, I think I am. There we go. You should clear your desk off if you're going to tear stuff with your ruler, but I don't want to. <laughs> All right, there's the page. Now keep in mind, any of these pages that you make that you're not happy with or if they have something on them and you don't particularly like it, you're, you can cover them up later on. So don't don't let that concern you. Oh my goodness, let's, what about putting her in there? Yeah, let's do that. Let's cut off the bottom and a little bit off the top. And, yeah, I'm going to fold this just a little bit, and that's going to be the place that we're going to attach another page, the other page. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim this off right here. All of that white, or most of it. So we'll attach another little page here. Also keep in mind that these pages are not going to be back to back. So you can put just about anything on them that you want. And I think I'm going to glue that. Because they're going to be in opposite sides of your journal. Do some journaling on it. That'd be a good journaling spot. Or we'll just glue something on there. So there we've got that down there. There's another page, and not this is not necessarily how these pages are going to stay. I'm just laying them together like this. 
Now this is an old piece of that tracing paper that I bought, or not tracing paper, it's an old piece of that um, writing paper that I bought and I left out and see how it's yellowed on the edges? I love that. And I'm just going to make a page out of this. Okay, let's go ahead and trim that off. That's a good stamping paper too. And I'm going to trim the bottom off just a little bit. I want to keep that top because it's real yellowed. So there's another one. And I want to put this envelope in there. This is a um, recycled envelope, and I have splattered it a little bit. And this may be a little bit big. We'll see. No, I think it'll be about right. So we'll put that there. This is an old... Um, Oh, it's what they used to use in the hospital when they did your EKG and that kind of thing. They may still use these. I don't know. But somebody sent me a whole pack of these, so I thought, hmm, that'd be a good place to use. Some is in our junk journal. So I'm going to fold that over. About right there. And then, and I could leave that there, but well, I think I'll leave it there for now. I may end up wanting that to be a pocket. Who knows? So put that there. I have some of this green paper. And I like to include that in my junk journals. I love the sound of it when you turn it. So try to include that in there. We may put that out here like that. Okay, there's some of that packing paper. Isn't that neat looking? Look at that. It's all different colors. Oh, I like that. Let's see. I don't want to put it next to another piece of packing paper. So let's just put it right there. And I'll move these back and forth. I'll slide them up and down depending on how I want them to stay in there or how I want them to look. My cover over here before I bury it, I can't find it. Now all of these hard pieces like this, I'm laying over here and I will make, um, and I will make either pockets or um, tags or things like that out of them. This is a Colorado map. And I can include that in there. All I need to do is have something to attach it to. Let's just go ahead. This is a little piece out of an old address book. So I think I'll attach that there. Okay. And I do need to trim this off a little bit or fold it up. I may just fold it up and let it be a pocket. All right, so I want to attach that. So what I am going to do is, I'm going to use some washi tape there. And here again, whatever washi tape you put your hands on is good. You can also use a piece of fabric or you can use a piece of paper, whatever you got. Snip those little pieces off right there. And fold that. And there is another page with a little pocket. I'll have to press that down a little bit. Okay, slip that in there somewhere. I think I'll go ahead and add this envelope in. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue this together because I can cut an opening where I want the opening to be. Because I want it to be pockets. So if I want to have the opening on the front, 
or the sides or the top or wherever I can do that and I just fold it in in half and I'm just going to slip it in here. I don't know if that's where it'll stay but we'll slip it right there. I've got this sheet that someone sent me. I hope that looked good. Put that on there. Got some music paper. Okay. Alright, I'm going to tear this off and then we'll slide it in there. And I'm just going to tear past that little hole that's right there. And we'll save that part for something else. That's how I end up with so much stuff. I save it, I save it, I save it. All right, there is another piece of... I must have had a Colorado map at one time, or somebody sent me one. That's another piece of Colorado map. And it's got a horsey on it. Let's just do it. Let's put it in there. If I need to cover it, I can cover it. And if not, I can leave it as is. Whoops. You do have to hold it down, Edith. And I'm not even going to worry that that's got a little piece cut out of it right there. Uh, that doesn't bother me. I'm just going to start sliding them on this way. Probably won't be the way that they stay, but that's the way we're going to do it right now. There's another piece of old book page. Slide that in there. Let's see. That's part of a little paper bag. And we'll use that for a pocket. Let's lay that over there. And here's another just scrap of that packing paper. Good way to use it up. And let's see. This is kind of like vellum. I don't think it is vellum. I think it was some packing paper that I got, but it feels just like vellum. So I'm going to tear it in half because I don't need all of that. Now, I always do overkill on my pages. I always do way too many pages. You don't have to do this many if you don't want. That's strictly up to you. But I'd rather have more pages than not enough, if you know what I mean. This is a little piece of um, like sandwich paper that I dyed at one time or another. So I'm going to include that there, and I'll probably have to end up tearing some of these down, and that's okay if I do. Well, and you know I have to include that in there because it's got butterflies on it. And there's a piece of music page that's very, very old, and it's been written on. So I thought I'd include that in there, and there's another piece of that, and another piece of this. So let's fold these. I think this is going to be plenty of pages. Now, I don't use any of my... Um, digitals in a junk journal. Some people do. You can if you want. I just use basically junk. Stuff that I have um, laid aside that I might want to do something with later. You know, things that I don't, haven't included in a regular journal. So, that page... And let's go ahead and fold this this way. I don't mind that some of these are going to be sideways because, guess what? We'll probably make pockets and different things to go on it anyway. We'll journal on some, so I want some of them to be pretty plain. That would be good to journal on. Alright, so let's just go ahead and see. Those are going to be about the right size. And these will not be together here, but I'm just going to put 
put them together right now so that I can get all of these in here. I'll have to rearrange these just a little bit. I love that crinkly paper in here. Now this is definitely going to have to be trimmed down. So I'd like to get this part in there. So I'm going to trim off the top. And let's see. I'm going to have to trim off just a little bit of the bottom too. Nice and crooked. It's good for a journal. And that's pretty too, isn't it? Those will probably have to be folded up on the side, and that's okay. This one, I'm going to trim it all the way down to the butterflies. And then I think I'll trim this bottom part off. Oh, and look, that's pretty. Okay, let's see how many pages that we're going to have if we stop right here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25. So that means I will have 50 pages because that's just the, the uh, fronts of these. So that's 25, that's 50 pages. That's more than enough to do the January challenge. But I, I'd rather have more than not enough. Now, I think I want to have this on the front. That's going to be my front page. Did I tell you my kids never, ever text me or talk to me or call me or anything until I get on video? And then it's like every five minutes they're texting me. Right now, Melina's blowing my phone up. All right. Now I'm just kind of laying these out like I think I might want them. Okay, let's put that one in the center. So that is how I'm going to put them in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and stitch them in before I do any kind of trimming or anything or folding. That way I just, I can do with the extra whatever I want. I can either fold it over and make a pocket or I can cut it off. Either one. So let's go ahead and find our center again. Then I'm just looking down through to see if there's pages that I need to slide one way or the other. That looks pretty good. Let's see what they're going to look like in here. Yep, we didn't get them too tall, so that's good. That page right there looks crooked, so let's see if we can get it in there a little bit better. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let me clip these, and then we'll get our little journaling tool and we'll put these to stitch these together and they'll be ready to go all right I'm using our journal cradle and I have just put this in there and I'm gonna go ahead and poke my holes While that's still clipped, I'm going to go ahead and 
get my needle ready. So we're going to go in that center hole. I'm going to leave a tail out here. We're going to come back up through this top one. And this one slid a little bit on me, so it may take me a minute to find all my holes there. There we go. And go all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to come back up through that center hole and just make sure that our tails are on opposite sides of the string that's going all the way down. Okay, so I got one over there and one over there. And I'm going to leave these pretty long. I might want to put some charms or something on them. I don't know. So just tighten them up. And I haven't printed off Meg's challenge yet. Uh, she's got a paper that you can go, I think, to her website and print off. I haven't done that yet. And like I said, I don't even know if I'll participate in that or if I'll use this for something else. But we've got it made anyway. So there's some pockets. And here's our pages. It's a true junk journal. But look, all that stuff that I had piled on my desk, now it is cap captured in this journal. And we can use it to do our journaling on, and we need to put something right there on that. I'll probably do that when I get to that page. I'll put those together. I didn't mean to, but they're done now, and we're not going to worry about it. I am going to trim this little piece off a little bit because I don't need that sticking out there like that. okay and I don't I may just trim just a tiny bit of this off the edge and that will just get that white off of there I don't want to lose very much of that And since that started tearing, I'm going to go ahead and tear that off. Okay. And there is the back side of it. Cool. I like that. Okay. So we've got the pages done. And now we need to think about what we want to do to the cover. I'm really thinking about this for my cover. Isn't that pretty? So, we could, and just leave a little of that brown showing around, I think that'd be cute, oh. let me think, okay, I'm going to go ahead and tear my edges while I'm thinking. and tear a little off the bottom because I don't want to lose all of my trees and then let's see how much we'd have to tear from the top right there so I won't lose all the trees Well, I lost quite a bit of them, but not all. But I've still got let's do it what I wanted anyway, and that's the water and the rocks and all of that. So I think that's what I'm going to do right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little inking on the edges of this because when I tore it, I did get some white edges showing. So 
so I'm just going to ink those white edges. I like water, so this is a good thing to put on here. I am going to tear a little bit of this just so it'll have a rough edge like the other. It's not going to go, whoops, it's not going to go all the way around, but um, it's going to go part the way around and that's fine. I can cover the back with something else if I need to and that doesn't want to tear so. I tore it in the wrong spot, but guess what? It's okay. We're going to glue that down anyway. Not too worry. Let's put a little... I think it was folded there at one time or another, so that's fine. Okay, let's glue that down there. Now, it is a shiny surface, but I'm going to use my art glitter glue. It should work just fine without any problem. But you can use PVA glue if you want. I've never had a problem with it not gluing things like this down. But, you know, if you have an issue with it, then just use what glue that you had rather. Double-sided, PVA, whatever. Okay. Looks like it might want to stick right there. I want to move you a little bit. There we go. I got a string in there. Let's go ahead and flip it over and we'll glue this back here. Did you see me flop that right over on my hand? I did. Okay, so yeah, we have this little bit, but we can put something else there. I'm not going to be worried about that right now. Ooh, I like that. That's going to be my front cover. Now, again, this is just a magazine page. So find magazines that you have around your house and pull out pages and create your journal. I mean, they're, they're pretty. Once you get them on and get everything done, all your embellishing done, it's going to be very pretty. All right, I think that may be all that we do right now, just because I want to save the start of it and the embellishing and all of that for when we start on Meg's journal. And like I said, I'm hoping that I can do it. Don't hold me to it, but I'm hoping that I can. Or her challenge, I think it is. I think she says it's a little challenge. But um, like I said, I'm going to link her channel below. You guys can go over and check that out and do the print off if you want. Let me see if I have the print off anywhere around here. I'm probably going to cover this a little bit too, but not right now. Let me see if I can get that print out for you. Okay, here are the prompts that she gives you for January. Junk Journal January. And if you want to use, if you want her to see what you have done, you can use hashtag Junk Journal January. So these are the prompts that will go in our little journal and we'll follow, you know, each week or, like I said, don't know if I'll do them every day or each day, I should say. Don't know if I'll do mine every day or if I'll just do them once in a blue moon. <laughs> it depends on how much time I've got. I would love to do the whole challenge, but, you know, my time is a little bit crazy. So, it's like, number one is resolutions. Two is starry, S-T-A-R-O-Y, starry. I don't know what that means. Stained, uh, decorated tag, routine, stitched, shimmer, blossoms, hidden, intricate, pocket, throwback, hobbies from the day, barcode, folded, top five, maps, hand-lettered, texture, uh, experimental, old and new, stickers, scenery, one color, uh, wordy, earth tones, antique, musical, unexpected, and close. So that is what she, the prompts that she gives you. And you don't have to do them all if you don't want to. I know she's not that stickler with that. You can do just what, the ones that you want and leave the others if that's what you want to do. 
but um and you don't even have to do it all in january i know rachel i think is still doing some from last june so <laughs> and that may be me i'll probably be doing the same thing so i'm just gonna fold mine up and i'm gonna tuck it in here like that and then i'll be ready to go on day one day one i'll probably do right here maybe so that is it i'll leave her link below where you can go over and download this she has it on her etsy no she has it on her instagram and then also on her youtube but i'll leave her link below so we've got our journal ready to start with and then we'll do decorating as we do the pages and as we do the prompts don't forget about our challenge for january and it is called just journal january and i'm going to put that down here hashtag just journal January. If you want us to see what you have done in the process of this January challenge, make sure that you use that hashtag, hashtag just journal January. If you post it on YouTube, if you post it on Instagram, if you post it on Facebook, if you'll use that, then we'll be able to find it because we're going to be giving, having giveaways. I may have two. I said I was going to have one, but I may end up having two. One in the middle of the month and then one at the end of the month. There are going to be some good giveaways too. So go and download your freebies. Betty has already got first week's done and the second week's done. So all of your pages are going to be included in this so all you have to do is print your pages off if you don't have a printer and don't print digitals then just use what you have at home you do not have to use these in order to enter you don't have to have facebook in order to enter i know i had somebody say i don't do facebook do i have to have facebook in order to follow along with the challenge no if you don't have facebook you can still follow along if you have instagram then then post it on instagram and if you don't have either, then you can just leave a link below our videos, mine or Melina's, and just use that hashtag in the link, and we'll find it that way, okay? All right, guys, that is it for our video today. I hope you will join us for our challenge, and I will leave Meg's link below. You can go over and check her channel out. And there's lots going on in January, so join in with us and have some fun. We'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.